Yes, you remember the story of Lot, and if you used to be a Jehovah's Witness or are currently one of Jehovah's Witnesses, or basically, if you're in any religion, you can probably have some remembrance of wife, the wife of Lot turning into a pillar of salt for looking back and think of the the craziness of Sodom and Gomorrah and everything and um, you know very well according to the Bible it's 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 correct um, so yeah but one thing that's kind of frustrating is the fact that um, Here, wife, the wife of Lot. Um, I can't. I don't know if the Bible it says her name it very well could, but the wife of Lot um, is turned into a pillar of salt for turning back, for looking back at um, Sodom and Gomorrah. But one thing the Bible clearly says and clearly demonstrates the fact that. Um, well, Lot's wife, or Lot's daughters, had a twisted uh, relationship with him. And it's in, you know, and here they survived. Here they survived, right? Didn't get turned into a pillar of salt or anything. But here, here's what they did do. And I'm going to read from the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Genesis 19, 30 through 38. It says, Later, Lot went up from Zoar with his two daughters and began living in the mountainous region because he was afraid to live in Zoar. So he began living in the cave with his two daughters, and the firstborn said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the land to have relations with, with us according to the custom of the whole earth. How would they know? No, I mean, if, I don't know. Come, let us give our father wine to drink, and let us lie down with him and preserve offspring from our father. So they, that night they kept giving their father wine to drink. Then the firstborn went in and lay, lay down with her father, but he did not know when she lay down and when she got up. Then on the f next day, the firstborn said to the younger, Here I lay down with my father last night. Let us give him wine to drink tonight also. Then you go in and lie down with him and let us preserve offspring from our father. So that night also they repeatedly gave their father wine to drink. Then the younger went and lay down with him, but he did not know when she lay down and when she got up. So both daughters of Lot became pregnant by their father. The firstborn gave birth to a son and, and named him Moab. He is the father of the Moabites of today. The younger also gave birth to a son and she named him Ben Amina. He is the father of the Ammonites of today. Now the scripture says all, all scripture is inspired by God because, well, let's face it, mankind put that down there, I believe. What a sick, twisted tale it is. I mean, you think, how did that get in there? And they omitted some certain books of the Bible that don't have any twisted relationships like that. But they'll they'll have stuff like I just read. I think how twisted. But yet, you know. Sorry for the car, that car alarm going off. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if you heard it, but... <clears throat> but, thinking, what... What kind of twisted stuff is this? And here, Lot's wife gets destroyed. And who knows if she'll be at the resurrection, right? Um, <sighs> here she's destroyed for looking back. Did she do something that wasn't recorded that was really bad? It's almost, it almost, it's almost the Bible writers wanted modern day people, thousands of years into the future, to question this and go, you know what? This is full of crap. This is, this is just stories, and it's, it's not, you know, 
like I, I said in my other video, that the prophecies of Christ Jesus were penned down earlier, or, or they were prophesied earlier, and then they passed the, the, the notes down to generation to generation and say, okay, we're going to fulfill it now. So, <sighs> and again, the, story, the whole story of Lot is just unjust to say the very least, twisted and unjust to say the very least. Uh, so, so White's wife's or Lot's wife gets turned to a pillar of salt for looking back. It just doesn't hold no moral ground. And in fact, it, it, it the the whole story of Lot is just messed up. And it and it shows it shows that it's not the God of Word of God, or it's not the it's not a God, it's not the Word of a God who's a loving God. You know, I was thinking today that. The scripture in, in at the first John four eight I think it is where it says God is love, but there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about God is not love, and there's a plenty of those scriptures, like this, the scripture in Genesis nineteen thirty to thirty eight. That shows that God is not a God of love if this is really the unerring word of God. That's all I got. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching the Jake Mr. Green Bruggeman channel.